let's give some people some hope, Pete. I know you're, you're a financially very wise man, that people are crushed by high taxes, high interest rates and inflation. What advice would you give the average Australian business owner ever to navigate this financial pressure we're in right now? What would you do? Well, I think from an investment point of view, what, what, what's, what's changed in recent years is, is, is inflation. Inflation's changed everybody, everything the last two years. Um, so if you're making investments, you've got now got to look for investments that will be uh, resilient against inflation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, which, which, which are the essential businesses that people have to spend on, right? Mm -hmm. And, and will cut everything else to actually spend on uh, uh, utilities and, 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 and that sort of thing. So um, that's, that's a big change, I think. Um, the other thing I'd say is be, be careful about um, stock markets, um, equity markets, because uh, the equity market's quite high at the moment uh, because people are expecting interest rates cuts. When 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 they come, they've already priced in the sort of the upside. And if they don't come as early as uh, people have been expecting, you may not get much of a return there. So um, I, I think it's a more complex yeah. uh, investment environment at the moment. Uh, and different sectors are going to perform in very different ways. Uh, it's not going to be get into the stock market, buy tech stocks, and you'll get a fantastic return. I think they're going to be pockets now that you've got to be how, how, how important is diversification and financial education? By financial education, I'm not talking about an accounts degree, but no. how important is that? For I, I, look, I think it's very important. You, you know, I'm always amazed that our, you know, for the general public, financial literacy is not that high. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I mean, we don't teach it to our kids, you know. They might go to school and they might hear all about colonisation or something. Uh, but, but do they hear about how to pay the bills and how to pay your taxes? I don't know. I suspect we don't. And over the years, you know, I, I, I was always sort of trying to promote uh, financial literacy. But, you know, it's just something I think you've got to be careful and. I'd say, and this is the way I looked at it as a treasurer, remember this, uh, there's two lines. There's your top line, that's what's coming in. There's your, your, your underneath line, that's what's going out. And and uh, what you got at the end of the day is a function of both. If you can't drive the top one up, you better do something about reducing the expenses. <laughs>